Who are the best possible, most overpowered players in the English Premier League on every single position in FIFA 22's Ultimate Team? From super cheap to very expensive and every single price range between there. So if you're watching this video and you love it, smash a thumbs up, subscribe for more and put on that notification bell. If you are ready to win every single game in FUT 22's Ultimate Team by Gerard of Coins and you want to get the players you always dream about, don't worry, head over to u7buy.com using my link in the description and don't forget to use the code with Viva for an extra 5% discount. And of course, a very big welcome to everybody. If you're watching this video, you probably want to build yourself the best possible FIFA 22's Premier League squad, ranging from a super cheap budget to a very high one to upgrade it step by step. Don't worry, I will tell you everything from the goalkeepers to the strikers. Every single position will be featured in this video. So if you love it, smash that like button in the face, subscribe for more and put on that magical notification bell. And by clicking the i button, more more FIFA 22 content is waiting for you. Let's get the show on the road with the goalies. And as you will see with every single position, we're going for cheap, middle and expensive. And the price tag for cheap is between 1 to 5 or sometimes between 1 and 10k. For the middle price range, it is switching depending on the position and same can be said about expensive. First of all, what's important for a goalkeeper? Reflexes, diving, that's the most important part, plus the positioning. Handling, it's a big plus of course. The kicking and the speed, not super important, it's okay. With David Heya and Kasper Schmeichel, you can get yourself two extraordinary goalkeepers for less than 5k. I even have to live out the goalkeepers like Ariola and Mandy of Chelsea because these goalkeepers already do the cheap and very OP. Ulleris is one step higher. He's 87 rated but only has a price tag of 15,000 coins. That is not a lot for a goalkeeper with 88 diving and 90 reflexes. And, and what to think about the goalkeepers that are the expensive versions. 89 and 89. Ederson and Alisson. City and Liverpool. Both of them look great. Sweeper keeper Ederson has also a special breath to save with his feet. That is something special I like about him. But also Alisson Becker is very complete. So for the goalkeepers for every single budget, we have a cheap, overpowered meta player waiting for you. Who are you going to pick? Tell it down below. Moving on with the center backs. What are you looking for for a good center back? Speed, defending, physicality. Easy as that. Good passing in FIFA 22. It's an extra bonus. But first of all, defensively, good stats. Silver card, two and Zebe is one of the few silvers in this episode. But if you look to the stats, with a shadow card, you can make him a new cheap Joe Gomez. You can also go for the combination of Tottenham Hotspur with Davinson Sanchez and Christian Romero. It's a perfect link and finds center backs to go for and if you want to go for it dirty cheap super overpowered Ben Godfrey is your man. Well, let's switch to the middle players. So with Antonio Rudiger and Joe Gomez, you can upgrade your squad if you have the cheap players at the moment. Rudiger has 75 speed, that's okay. But most importantly, his defending and physicality are top notch. And, and what to think about Joe Gomez? Well, exactly, an even better player. 81 speed and with a shadow card, I can explain you guys that will be above 90. Wow. And then, for the elite players that put a lot of money in FIFA or just great in trading cards, we have Virgil van Dijk, but the most expensive player this year on the center back position is Rafael Verone. And what makes him so much more expensive? First of all, his speed, but also his agility. Verone feels much smoother in the game than VVD. Then we're turning to the right backs and the left backs, turning on to the right hand side with Fredericks, Ryan Fredericks, Emerson and Pereira. Both, well, triple of them I must say are great right backs to go for, for a cheap budget price. Nothing wrong with that. You're looking for speed, defending physicality, but also dribbling and passing is more important for a full back than this for a center back. So if we move to Juan Bisaka and Jacques Cancelo, it's up to you. What do you prefer? Do you like a defending right back? I would say go for one Bisaka. Do you need a more attacking right back? Go for Jao Cancelo. So depending on your playing style, if you like to play Park the Boss with counter attacks, one Bisaka is your man. Do you like to play the attacking, high pressure, Tiki Taka playing style? Then you go for Jao Cancelo. And if you can't choose and you have 70k laying around somewhere in your club, Get Cal Walker. He's a combo of one Bisaka and Jack Cancelo in a Super Saiyan form. Without any doubts, Cal Walker is the best right back available, in my opinion, in the game with Hakimi. And then we're moving to the left back positions. Then there we find the first empty spot. Yes, guys, I can't change it. We only have cheap left backs, 
and an expensive one, but even the expensive one is only 30,000 coins. So can we actually call Andrew Robertson expensives? Well, okay, we go for it. So cheap versions are Hari, the second silver in this episode. How cool would it be to build yourself a Premier League silver squad with the likes of Tuan Zebe, with Henry and more super players? Kieran Tierney, Regaleo and TS are all good, but they lack the pure speed. So if you're looking for sweaty, Henry is more usable than all those other players. But if you want to go for more a ball playing left back, TS is your man. Robertson is okay, but also Robertson needs a shadow card. The speed needs a boost for all these left backs to be usable. Turning to the center defensive midfielders, and that position is just so cool this year. With the new star of Brentford, Onyeka, we find one of my personal favorites. If you want to find out everything about the best cheap Premier League players, click the i button for the video that already hit 100,000 views within one week. Don't be too late about that. Then we have Mosasi Soko, the new signing of Watford, a usual suspect, but this year with a, a nation change, no, a club change from Tottenham to Watford, and Fred is always there. Fred is better in the passing than Onyeka and Sissoko. So in that case, an upgrade. Then we have Alan, my favorite on that position. Well, the cheap and Golo Kante are calling with my friends because he has everything you desire for 13,000 coins. And, and yes, guys, he is super good. So try him out. Fabinho is more a, a steady player. I don't like players that have less than 70 speed on his standard car. But if you like Fabinho as a steady player and you don't play with a lot of room between him and your center backs, you're good to go. Park the bus with Fabinho and the best player out there, the elite superstar and Golo Kante. What can we say about this card? It is not a Root Gullet gang member anymore because his shooting is too low, but well, he feels like Root Gullet in that game. And Golo, wow. Moving on with the central midfielders. And once again, it's a pretty tough position to get an actually good middle price player. For the cheap players, it's not a problem. We have many of them to choose from Oxlade Chamberlain, Saul Ninguez, but also the players I just mentioned you. What do I like about a central mid? They need to be all round. They need to have at least 70 plus speed and everything else should be 70 plus as well. Some stats higher than 80, it's an extra bonus. Bonus. So, Saul Oxlade, good players. Thiago Alcantara is 10k. Why? Because he is 86 rated, but most importantly, his passing is incredible. And that's important in FIFA 22. The complete player is Paul Pogba, but that gives him a price range of, at the moment, according to the video, around 125,000 coins. His price will go down slightly, but still, prices are pretty steady with the new FIFA rules. So, in FIFA 2021, prices stay the same until. Christmas and later on. So Paul Pogba will be super expensive. Luckily, the camp position is giving us so much more opportunities. New signing of West Ham, the former CSKA Moscow player of Vlasic is pretty good. I use him in a cheap 50k squad builder. We'll be live on this channel this weekend. Vlasic was surprisingly enough very strong. We have then James Madison, complete playmaker. Same can be said about Mason Mount. And if you're looking for more quick feet and strength and speed, Kai Havertz is your man. And the cool thing is, with all all those upgradable players you've seen, Kai Havertz is available for less than 5k! Yeah guys, you're not dreaming. Well, will you upgrade Kai Havertz? Phil Foden is your man, but also Bernardo Silva. Foden and Bernardo Silva have a perfect link, and I will say try them out in a 4 3 3 system if they can use a CDM with two center mids, Silva and Foden on the ball, super technical, quick feed, and they can turn so quickly, nobody can pressure them. And if you want to go for the absolute best playmakers in the world, Bruno and Kevin, Fernandes, De Bruyne, Portugal, Belgium, City, United. Black hair, red hair. Well, there are many differences between them, but most things are the same. And what's the same, people? Well, they're super playmakers and their price is extremely high. Then we're going to the wing, starting off with the right wingers, one of my favorite positions. What's important? Speed, dribbling, and shooting and passing are actually important as well to make them more overpowered. For example, Ismail Lazar has it all. Hadama Traore is a pace abuse monster, but his shooting and passing are quite horrifying, making him less overpowered in front of goal. Rafinha is a combo of Sar and Traore. He has the speed, but also the extremely high shooting ability. Lucas Moura, also an incredible player, and what think about the new superstar, Lei 
Leon Bailey of Aston Villa, the Jamaican winger combines everything, speed and incredible shooting. Want to upgrade those players? You can go with Jaden Sancho. Sancho needs a hunter card, simple as kissing, to upgrade his speed to 90 plus. A player that is one of my personal favorites and that's why I put him on the top mail is Ismail Sar, first informed card of Team of the Week number uno. That card, it hurt me so many times in Division Rivals in the Wigan League that I decided to buy him myself and now I get him, I use him, I celebrate victory after victory, try Ismail Azar, he's worth the cash. For the more expensive players, we have a lot of them with Gabriel Jesus, the mistake by EA because Jesus is 83 rated. An upgrade from 83 in Team of the Week always goes to 85, but they made a mistake, so now he is 86 and boy what an 86 rated card it is. The best player is Mo Salah, Salah, his inform card, Salah, his normal card, it's all the best on the right wing position, but with that said, Salah, both cards are available for 500k, half a million, and for me, that is just a little bit too crazy. Don't forget to smash that like button in the face, this video costed me around 10 hours to create, but I do it every single year, and you enjoy it so much, so it's my pleasure, but don't forget to take one second to give a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section what players are you going to sign after watching this video, just let me know, then subscribe for more FIFA content. We have Joga Jota and Wilfried Zaha, different type of players, are you more a skillful player on the ball, who is taking it easy to go in front of the goal, Joga Jota is great, do you like to sweat? more and use your speed, Wilfried Zaha is the best choice. You can upgrade those players with Saint Maxime and Raheem Sterling. And Raheem Sterling, I must say, is a huge upgrade. His price range is actually 50 to 60k at the moment. And why is that? Well, his speed and dribbling, it's almost the same than the players before him, but his shooting makes a difference. An example, Saint Maxime, 69, Raheem Sterling, 81. That's a big gap, and that makes Raheem Sterling very overpowered to use. If you have more cash to splash, you can go for Rashford, Youngman Sun, and Sadio Mane. But these are only for the elite players amongst you guys. But it doesn't matter, you have so many other players to choose from. But trust me, if you can afford Rashford, Youngman Sun, or Mane, do it because they are a game changer. We are finishing the episode off with the strikers. Don't forget to smash that like button in the face. For the striker position, we have another silver superstar, and that is Emmanuel Dennis of Watford. A great legendary silver card already. If this guy is able to get a silver objective, a silver superstar, and team of the week, his card will explode and be instantly one of the best strikers in the Premier League. So keep an eye on him. Then we have Daka. He's already the card Emmanuel Dennis could become. And then we have Martial. Super cheap this year, around 7 to 8k, and that is like stealing candy from a baby. Get him as soon as possible. Are you more a skillful player? Gabriel Jesus has amazing dribbling, decent shooting, and good physicality as well. So he might be the most complete player to go for. Well, let's give these players an upgrade with Timo Werner. Timo, where are you? 91 pace, 81 shooting with a hunter card that becomes 99 pace, 90 shooting. Yeah, deadly. Ivan Tony, 84 rated. His inform card is is great. It's it's not the quickest, but well, with a hunter card, it goes up above 90. Tony is strong, can finish. Super cool player as well to get a team of tweak star in your squad. Jamie Vardy got a speed downgrade, but it's still pretty useful. And one of my personal favorites is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. I got him in my first pack opening, and I still use him. And if you watch the video about the cheap players available in the Premier League by clicking the i button, you find Aubameyang on that thumbnail. And that's not a, without a reason because he is super meta and overpowered. And then the best strikers in the game, Lukaku, is strong, can finish, can turn, can score, super. But there is nobody near. Cristiano Ronaldo, 1.3 mil at the start of FIFA in the first weeks. It might drop down if you're watching this video later on towards Christmas, but 1.3 mil, it stands. And it stands with a reason, because Ronaldo, I played against him in the FUD draft. That man felt like cheating. Every single corner kick I got or the opponent got, Ronaldo was flying in the air like Michael Jordan did in Space Jam and, and nobody could stop him. So in the air, on the ground, with speed, with a shooting, 
Ronaldo, there is nobody better and that is why he is featuring as a front player on this thumbnail to show my honor to Cristiano Ronaldo, not only in the game but also in real life, he's performing very well. So guys, here they are, the video you must watch at the start of FIFA to become the best in that game with knowledge. Give a thumbs up if you love it, subscribe for more and put on the notification bell and by clicking the i button you can watch this video for every single league in FIFA. See you with the next one.